Put India aside for a moment. Uh, look, there are whole continents today which actually feel that the Security Council uh, processes do not uh, take into their uh, take into account their interests. I mean, I spoke earlier about Ukraine and a sense in the global south that their problems of food and fuel and fertilizer are being just uh, brushed aside. Uh, and frankly, at the U, if you if you go to a UN General Assembly uh, uh, and talk to countries, you know there are countries in Africa and Latin America and the small island states, uh, quite apart from Asia and India who feel very, very strongly that this is not their UN uh, in a way. And I think that's hugely damaging uh, to the UN. So one of the developments this time, in fact, has been a, a very uh, explicit recognition by uh, President Biden of the need to actually reform the UN, which is not a small uh, development. But we need to get, because uh, we all know why reform has been blocked uh, for so many years. So I think it's important to keep up the pressure. It's, uh, there is global sentiment out there. Uh, we, we, we completely understand. I mean, this is not something which is going to be done uh, easily and necessarily uh, speedily. Uh, but uh, it's something which has to be done finally. Mm -hmm.